The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. Coming up on the drum beat, the EMT department shows us how it gets the job done, and the Green Committee continues to make its mark on campus. The drum beat starts right now. From Studio 203 on the campus of Tyler Junior College, this is the drum beat. Thank you for joining us. I'm Isaiah Thornton. And I'm Veronica Perez. A chance for redemption after a rough semester, TJC's Bounce Back program connects struggling residential students with support services. The housing department sends out emails at the end of each semester to those with a GPA below a 2.0. If not improved, students can be removed from housing and lose financial aid. Teachers and directors hope this serves as a wake-up call for students to seek the help they need. These, ser these services can be found in the library and Potter Hall. For more information, please contact Mrs. Harris, Assistant Director of Housing, AHAR at tjc.edu. We had a number of them in our offices when we all returned in January to come and talk and uh, ask, where is the tutoring? Where is Quest? Where is all the support services? Who's available? How can I work on this? Because they want to be here. They want to be who wouldn't want to be at TJC? The topic of religion continues to be a hot center for discussion, and most of the time it results in arguments. However, one faith teaches that the religion should not be divided, but unified. Here is Ricardo May Cano with more. So, this is from Christianity in Philippians. It's called Baha'i, a faith that while you may not have heard of before, has more than 5 million members worldwide, including some here at TJC. So exactly what is Baha'i? The Baha'i faith teaches that all religions should unite people instead of divide people. And so that's why we like to encourage all the diverse people to come to, uh, to our meetings. The Baha'i faith includes many teachings that you may be familiar with and others completely brand new. There's only one truth and that's God's truth. And as mankind has matured, God has helped give us more and more guidance that we could understand. For Baha'is, we actually are told to have uh, independent investigation of the truth. We don't have any preachers or priests in our, in our uh, faith. One of the core principles in the Baha'i faith is the unity of humanity, encouraging all students to participate regardless of their belief. We respect those different understandings and we realize that we can learn from people that are diverse for us. There's a quote in the writings that compares it to the flowers of a garden. When you look at a garden, if it's all red roses, I mean, red roses are beautiful, but if it's all red roses, kind of gets lost. Members of the club admire the faith's commitment to helping all those in need. The Baha'i stand for something greater than just themselves. They work outside of themselves. They work in the community where other people are not willing to go. Boost the morale of the community and better the community. That's what I love about it. For others, it's the faith they have always sought after. My husband and I attended TJC last semester together, and we were approached by Mrs. Anglin, and she just told us that it's all about unity. is isn't so much like a religion with like a set of rules. It's just a faith in God and that we are all one people. And immediately we were just like, this is it. The key word in all of this is unity, wanting everyone to put their differences aside and come together. Never knock it till you try it, and by faith, it's like one of those groups where everybody is accepted. Nobody's looked down upon, nobody's spoken up differently, nobody's spoken about badly in any rude way. I'm Ricardo Megano for the drumbeat.com. The Baha'i Club meetings are every Wednesday and Thursday from 12 to 1. Please contact Mrs. Anglin for more information. The EMT program prepares its students to not only save lives, but to change the world. Here's Jamison White with more. When considering paramedics as a career, one area that many students do not consider is the danger that is faced by the paramedics themselves. Anytime that there are other cars and other vehicles that are uh, traveling when you're trying to work, typically a motor vehicle collision, those are by far the most dangerous. The recent statistics are about uh, between 15 and 30 deaths per year of EMS professions. EMS puts their lives on the line in order to keep us safe. They are also training students to be as prepared as possible for future emergency situations really good about being ready for an emergency situation. I know I'm not completely there yet, but with Mr. Miles, I'm working on it. I mean, I think everyone's nervous about certain things, but you don't know until you get into that situation. So at the moment, no, I'm not scared about it. Paramedics expect the unexpected. Preparation is important for emergency situations. The EMS and paramedic students are getting ready for any type of situation. I'm Jamison White for the drumbeat.com. 
Life-saving isn't what they do. It's who they are. The BSM is not only a religious center at TJC. It's a place where students can get free lunch on certain days. Here's Austin Hall with more. Each week, the Baptist Student Ministry serves the spiritual and social needs of TJC students and has been doing so since the 1940s. They provide a free lunch every Wednesday for students and staff as a way to expose people to the ministry. Dr. Mark Jones has served as the director of the BSM for the last 20 years. You know, our, our hope is that, the, that it would be more than just a meal. That, that what happens around the table is people take that pause in between classes or class and work, uh, that they'd have a chance to deepen relationships. So we always say that we're hoping to meet uh, physical needs, but also social and spiritual needs. Students like Wyatt Groover have adopted the BSM as somewhat of a second home. The people I don't think would know about the BSM without the free lunch, you know, and it kind of gets them uh, acquainted with uh, what we do here and kind of like our mission. Um, you know, Mark does a, a lesson twice during the lunch, once every hour, and it's a really good way for people to uh, be introduced to Christ and like to God and know what, uh, what we're all about here. The BSM lunches are a place where students come to have fun and meet friends. New students come to the ministry seeking a place where they can feel a sense of inclusion. If you come to an event like this where, I don't know, two, three hundred people come every Wednesday, um, I mean, you can get to know some people and be like really good friends, and who knows, you might end up being friends with them for life. Whether you're looking for food, friends, or spiritual guidance, the BSM is the place to be Wednesdays at noon. For the Drumbeat TV, I'm Austin Hall. The BSM is located on South Baxter Avenue right next to TJC Housing Office. Coming up after the break, we dig into new additions of the TJC Garden. We'll be back lickety split, AKA real quick. Stick around. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry, one in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Huntington. Every proper bear knows that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. So know for sure that your child is in the right car seat for their age and size. I like it. To learn more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Oh, hello there. Oh, where's that bear? Welcome back to the drumbeat. TJC's Green Committee held a Meet Us at the Garden on March 2nd, where students could go and get their hands dirty with the student garden. Um, well, we try to um, mainly base our planting times and growing times like mm -hmm. on Thursday mm -hmm. at 4 so that it can be like one time but then throughout the week we're gonna have to do some things mm -hmm. because anything can change when planting mm -hmm. and so we already have seedlings set for peppers and squash and tomatoes and other varieties we of course want you to be involved mm -hmm. with the green committee and be a part of it so that like we can update you easily about like what we're planning to do and stuff like that but mm -hmm. anybody on campus is welcome to help the tjc science center held several events for darwin day here's marshall searfoss with the report tjc along with ut tyler joined in on the celebration for darwin day with a handful of events Dr. Eugenie Scott, a physical anthropologist and the founding director of the National Center for Science Education, lectured at both colleges. Dr. Scott lectured over evolution and misunderstandings about it. I hope that uh, people will find something that I said tonight that, uh, that they find intriguing and maybe want to know more about, and we'll go on to continue learning about the subject of evolution. I've known Jeannie for oh, 20, 25 years. We um, move in the same circles professionally. Along with public lectures, events included moderated videos, family activities, and workshops for teachers. The Center for Earth and Space Science Education, where Scott lectured, will be hosting many other science events this semester. For Drumbeat TV, I'm Marshall Searfoss. When we come back, we'll talk about the art event that took place at Shrada Cafe. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Mm. 
Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, that chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to getschool.com for more info. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege. Not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy. And giving up, impossible. Welcome back to the Drum Beat. This, the Shrada Cafe had an event consisting of finding your own creativity throughout painting. Here's Marshall Searfoss with the report. You can have your artwork displayed in downtown at Gallery Main Street's annual 6x6 at 110 fundraiser. And the premise is really simple. We purchase about 1,000 6 inch by 6 inch canvases every year. And we hand those out to anybody that comes in the gallery. The art will be exhibited and sold at the 6x6 at 110 show. All proceeds go to supporting Gallery Main Street. In the months prior to the art show, painting parties will be hosted throughout Tyler. Brushes, paint, and canvases are all provided. We don't have many art galleries in Tyler, so it seemed like a great way to support local art. Strata Cafe hosted the February 25th party. The only requirement for the art is that it must stay within the six square inch border and can't extend more than two inches outward. We have had people create art with pastels, with photography, uh, fiber, uh, pottery, glass art, uh, welding. If you can create a piece of art and attach it to that canvas, it can be accepted for six by six. This family-friendly event is perfect for people who like outdoor activities. Sometimes I want to get real realistic and otherwise sometimes I just want to splash some paint on the canvas. It's just whatever I'm in the mood for. I like painting because it allows me to, or it makes me relax. Uh, it just kind of a soothing activity. The next painting party on March 25th will also be at Strata. The following parties will be posted on the Gallery Main Street's website. I'm Marshall Searfoss for the drumbeat.com. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you guys after spring break. Remember, you can always find the latest news at the drumbeat.com. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. 